What's new in MIUI 12.0.3.0 running on the Redmi K20 Pro? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new and what is missing in MIUI 12.0.3.0 based on Android 10 running on the Indian variant of the Redmi K20 Pro. Right off the bat, you will be very excited to know that we have the security patch from September 2020 in the month of September, which is a very rare thing for Xiaomi to do. Next up, if you open the gallery application and let's say you have a picture which has the sky, tap on the edit icon, make sure you download the sky filters. We now have the new dynamic filters available. So you have fireworks milky way rain and of course all of these will need to be downloaded so make sure you do have an active internet connection on your device and you also have the night filters wherein you can add a moon to your pictures crescent full moon so all of these options are available and they do work absolutely fine if and when you are able to download them Next up, we can have a look at the cleaner application and see if they have removed the clean master. And yes, there it is. You do not have the option of definitions anymore. Similarly, we can check the app permissions for security. And this is something which hasn't been fixed yet. So the security app still has some unnecessary permissions. And I think you might have to update the application manually for those unnecessary permissions to be removed. Next up, we can have a look at the application vault. So you still have the old app vault. You do not get the new one, which lets you add a custom header image. And here are the recents. You still do not have the option of floating windows in your recents top left. You still have the option of split screen and the animations are still broken. Who knows? when they are going to fix them and yes there it is you can see that the moon was downloaded and it does look pretty dope i do have to give this to show me that some of their filters are pretty cool and they do look pretty nice let us try out the fireworks one bam there it is working like a boss and looks pretty dope as well of course this is going to create a small video and you can you know see it on your screens right now and while we are talking about the gallery application do note that this is still the old gallery application you do not have the memories tab on top which does have a full-fledged video editor next up we can check if we get always on display themes so we can go into aod settings and style and no we still do not have the option of always on display themes and while we are talking about themes we can check out the themes application as well so you still have the old themes app which does not have the option of you know downloading fonts aod themes dynamic wallpapers all that fancy stuff is still limited to miui china next up we can check for the font so we can go into display system font and go into my font the default font is still the Roboto font we can now go into sound and vibration and bam there it is we have a new option called sound assistant make sure you enable this enable this toggle and now you can manage your audio volume on a per app basis so let us say I play music from Xiaomi's music application here it is as soon as I try to change the volume you see this button pop out on the left hand side here it is one more time this one and now i can change the volume of this music app using this slider let us minimize this to this specific level and we can also pause the music which is playing right now so let us pause this one and we can open play music play the same piece of music and you will see that the volume is definitely more and here it is the slider to control the volume level of the play music application so this is a pretty nifty feature for those of you who have different music or media players on your xiaomi device next up we can check the home screen settings so you still have poco launcher with 
broken animations going into wallpapers we can check out the super live wallpapers which we have so you have only two the saturn one is still not pushed out to this build and in terms of locations for the earth one you have three locations and similarly for the mars one also you have three locations so the additional two locations which they had added to the mars one are still not present on this build we already talked about the fact that the themes app is still the old one going into privacy and protection again this is the half-baked privacy and protection settings which you have over here you do not have the option of permission notifications or notification log now permission notification is something which they introduced in miui 12 china wherein if some application is accessing say your camera or microphone you'll have a notification in your status bar that option is still missing over here then we can go into additional settings and over here we can go into full screen display no android 10 gestures button shortcuts you still do not have the option of partial screenshot going into digital well-being you still have google's implementation now an interesting thing to note is that you have xiaomi's screen time and focus mode on this build you just have to download activity launcher to enable those options and i do have a separate video showing you how to do that you can find that video in the description of this video going into special features you do have video toolbox a tutorial about floating windows light mode is still missing over here then we can check out the file manager application so as you can see this is still the old file manager application and the same applies for the clock application as well the old clock app is here now an interesting thing to note here is that the banned applications which are me browser and me video have been removed they are no longer visible however if you still want to use them you can go into settings additional settings change your region to let's try changing it to say indonesia and once the region switch is done let us check if the applications are back so here is our application drawer and as you can see the me video and me browser apps are not loaded back which means that they are removed we can also try rebooting our device to just check what xiaomi is up to so the device has rebooted we can unlock our device go into settings and additional settings make sure that the region is still indonesia and yes the me video and me browser apps are not here so i think they have been removed for good in terms of the camera application you get the same camera application which you got in 12.0.2.0 wherein you do not have the option for kaleidoscope mode or ai filters or clone mode so all of those options are still missing and there it is peeps those are the new features and what is missing in miui 12.0.3.0 based on android 10 running on the indian variant of the redmi k20 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you